Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, forgive me, I've got a little bit of a cold. Taking a shower in hot water didn't actually help that much, but the hot water shower was actually pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Just been having a little bit of a cold for the last two days. Anyway, we're looking back at a film from 1970. Uh, odd, I, odd thing, uh, or uh, odd fact, I should say, I don't remember watching this movie, but it feels very familiar. Uh, so I'm guessing that I have watched this movie at one time or the other, probably when I was very young, and therefore I don't remember it. Uh, I did check with my dad, um, because I'm pretty sure he's seen this movie. Um, way back in the, uh, maybe, maybe in like 1980 or something like that, but the movie is from 1970. So I'm talking about Airport, as you can see from the title. Now, this started off the, uh, the uh, you know, the popularity of airport disaster movies. Uh, and this had three sequels uh, that came after it. And of course, a few spoofs. The most famous spoof, which is, of course, um, Airplane and the sequel to Airplane. I think it's just called Air Airplane 2. I haven't watched Airplane 2 in a very long time, but I do enjoy watching Airplane. Uh, it is very funny. But this one, uh, it's got moments of humor mixed with the drama coming up with the fact of trying to rescue some, uh, rescue the passengers and uh, and the crew of a Boeing 707. Is it a 707? Yes, a Boeing 707. So Airport, like I just mentioned, is a 1970 air disaster drama film written by George Seaton and starring, and here's the thing, they've got a huge list of uh, big stars. Burt Lancaster, Dean Martin, okay, and supporting them is Gene Set, uh, Setberg, uh, what do you say, Seb, Seberg, sorry, and I actually learned some things about Gene Seberg which I've never knew before, I've only seen her in one, I only remember seeing her in one other movie, um, and I will talk about that a little later. Jacqueline Bissett, amazingly beautiful actress, uh, British actress uh, of the 70s who was considered a sex symbol. Uh, as is Jean Seberg. Um, George Kennedy. Uh, I only remember George Kennedy from the uh, Naked Gun <laughs> movies. And to watch him play a more serious role over here, he's a little bit younger, of course, 10 years young. Um, oh, how many years younger? Almost 20 years younger, but he's still got the silver hair, much like Leslie Nielsen. So George Kennedy is a more, on a more serious role. Helen Hayes, who plays an elderly stowaway, is the comedic aspect and she actually won the uh, Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her role over here. She was an absolute hoot. I loved her in this role. Uh, Maureen Stapleton is another big name. And you also have... Well, that's basically it. Alright. Um, yeah, so on a winter uh, snowstorm night, um, in uh, it's set in Chicago. Uh, it's affecting the Lincoln International Airport and um, you know there's a there's a plane that's actually stuck on the runway uh, it actually misjudged the uh, the the route and it actually gets stuck in some snow and uh, basically the uh, airport crew is trying to trying the level best to actually bring it out uh, from under the deep snow they got digging and all that stuff meanwhile on this uh, 7A7 it's Kranz Global Airlines, there is a man um, who is uh, a suicide bomb. He has struggled his uh, life to take care of him. His wife is struggling. They're in, they're in dire financial uh, straits. And, uh, well, he, dis he is given a, you know, like a, from a terrorist group, he's actually given, um, uh, sorry, not a terrorist group, sorry. That, that's what I kept on thinking about, but because he is associated with some people. But, uh, he has got an insurance claim uh, that is in his wife's name. If he dies, his wife gets uh, a lot of money. And so that's why he decides to uh, pretend to it to be a terrorist um, bomb threat on, a, on the plane and, you know, blow himself up along with the plane, um, you know, killing all the passengers. But, um, of course, things go wrong. They do find out that. So the, the whole story is basically about uh, the airline crew uh, on the plane as well as on the airport trying to find a way to get the uh, get the bomb away from this person. Uh, there is a love interest between uh, Dean Martin's character and Jacqueline Bissett's character. Dean Martin plays a uh, a pilot, uh, who a seasoned pilot who is actually there to 
assess uh, a younger pilot's role in the uh, I mean performance in the uh, on the mission, uh, not mission rather <laughs> on the journey, and he is um, having an affair with uh, he's a married man but he's having an affair with uh, the lead um, air hostess uh, on the uh, flight, and she announces that she's actually pregnant. So. Uh, being a married person that uh, has a little bit of a problem plus his brother-in-law he is married to the sister of the man who is in charge of the airline the, the person who is managing the airlines um, played by Burt Lancaster uh, Bakersfield that's his name and uh, Dean Martin's character's name is Vernon Demarest so George Kennedy plays the chief mechanic who is at home uh, with his wife when they call him up and ask him to actually come and uh, you know help the crew out because he is an expert and he will play a bigger role later on because they have to get the plane off the runaways so that the uh, so this plane the 707 can actually land uh, but um, yeah and uh, Lan Bert Lancaster's character Mel Bakersfield is a man who is um, basically uh, that's the fact it flows so smoothly throughout the entire film he plays um, a man who's kind of like married to his work, but he's also married to a socialite. And um, he's been avoiding being with her uh, because basically they have, they both have fallen out of love with each, each other. And he is slowly uh, also, um, you know, getting into a, a, a friendship that is becoming something more with uh, Gene Seberg's character uh, named Daniel Livingston, who is the head customer relations agent for the airline. So all of this plays a, you know, a very, and it's it's done very smoothly. Um, there's very little, uh, uh, what do you call it? There's very little, uh, um, I mean, there is a lot of tension, but there's very little unnecessary parts in it. it everything, everything falls into place quite well. And you have to remember, this is, uh, this all is happening throughout one night. And that's what the best part about it. You get a lot of character development even in that in that kind of a situation. Um, so when George Kennedy comes in, he flungs himself into working it out. There's a lot of tension between uh, Bakersfield, Burt Lancaster's character, and uh, Dean Martin's character. Uh, especially if he finds out that he, he is cheating on his, his own sister, uh, that's going to be a big problem for him as well. They do have they do butt heads a little bit. Uh, Helen Hayes plays Ada Quinsett, who's an elderly stowaway. Now, this is the funniest. I mean, she was an absolute hoot. She kind of steals the uh, the the, mo <laughs> the limelight quite a bit. She plays this uh, lady who is, you know, she's not very rich, but or she doesn't have much money herself. Her children are in a different part of the uh, country, so she sneaks into airplanes, pretending that she's got a ticket. She comes in when the the people are very busy. She's got a man's wallet with her, uh, like a wealthy man's wallet, kind of something like really expensive. And she pretends that like, you know, her son has just gone into, uh, gone through the uh, doors, getting into the plane. She says, she, I just, she dropped his wallet. I just want to uh, give it to him. And they think like, you know, she's an elderly woman, um, looks dressed decently enough. So they don't really suspect her. They say, okay, go ahead. And she does it when they're very busy. And then she sneaks into the plane and like you know settles down and uh, she manages to avoid getting uh, caught all this time so that was absolutely funny she tricks one of the uh, they do catch her over here but they um, uh, what do you call it um, they she tricks the uh, the young man who is assigned to take care of her and escort her before the authorities come she manages to give him the slip he is completely not prepared for a woman who he thinks is like a motherly figure to even treats him like a son but um, you know she managed to pull the wool over eyes and she does come to the aid eventually of the crew when they find out that there is a person with a bomb uh, who and the crew is actually alerted by the the wife of the bomber and uh, you know they actually take her help to pretend because she happens to be sitting right next to him uh, pretend that there's a tussle and they try to get the plane uh, sorry they try to get the briefcase with the bomb in it away from the bomber however uh, he manages to get it back uh, with some um, help from a 
unwitting passenger who also gets a fist into the face by the captain <laughs> and uh, he blows himself up in the uh, bathroom uh, hurting um, rather badly um, Gwen Megan who is uh, played by Jacqueline Bisset so um, even though the even though the bomb is uh, the bomb does go off uh, there's um, you know and the plane is in the, in danger they do actually manage to land it safely because um, you know since it exploded at a particular point uh, which was at the um, the washroom excuse me i need to drink of water so yeah uh, they do finally manage to land the plane and except for some minor injuries um, major relief was for gwen because she was closest to the uh, explosion um, there was even uh, splinters that went to her eye they managed to get an ophthalmologist surgeon uh, waiting for um, uh, at the hospital for her as they go in and finally we get to see uh, you know uh, bakersfield finally admitting uh, a little bit of his feelings for uh, tanya livingston who is a widow by the way in the movie and uh, that was uh, you know how the movie ends uh, he basically decides to take a little bit of a break and go and enjoy some time um, spending it with uh, tanya livingston and you know separating from his wife uh, meanwhile uh, vernon who played by dean martin escorts uh, you know uh, goes to the hospital with uh, gwen uh, because he is finally going to admit that he is in love with her and not really in love with his uh, wife anymore um so yeah it's a very brilliantly short film um, there's a quite a bit of tension but there's a lot of comedy involved in it as well when i say comedy the comedy relief is mainly the old woman's character she does a fantastic job she won the oscar best supporting actress but i think uh, overall this is a fantastic film and it stands the test of time this is a movie from 1970 but i was enthralled i was completely I don't know I also got this kind of a a cozy film fe feeling while watching it I, I find it very hard to explain um, for some reason this movie is really uh, sticking with me and uh, you know it's been a week since I watched it but I want to watch it again um, you know just like that and uh, I will definitely try and watch the other movies and get the DVD collection as well let's see what happens um so i would give this movie an 8.5 out of 10 very very interesting uh very well acted very well done and um uh, i plan to watch the other four three films in the series as well but i think this is the most famous one so anyway and uh, you know hats off they actually do a fantastic job a movie from 1970 you know all these years later 51 years later is still very relevant and very interesting uh i'm amazed i'm pleasantly satisfied with it so yeah thank you very much guys i will uh, see you on another review coming up pretty soon